Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're looking at a trailer for Blind Spot, a new Channel 5 drama, which again, like most of these, is stripped across the week. Uh, this one's starting Tuesday, 4th of July. I much prefer it when they start on Monday and then run through to the Thursday, because if you're out on the Friday, you're going to kind of have to wait until you watch the last episode. But anyway, with this one, we've got uh, Grant Mitchell from EastEnders there. Well, Ross Kemp, really. The synopsis for this is such that in a year after witnessing a traumatising attack in a neighbourhood, Hannah, a young wheelchair user, witnesses a copycat attack on her area's CCTV system. And in the only part of her area not covered by cameras. So, oh. The attacker enters the area with an unknown woman, but emerges alone. What happened to the woman? Hannah believes she was murdered. It's probably a bit of a reach, perhaps. Uh, but there's evidence of a crime. She feels thwarted by Tony, the washed-up and possibly corrupt police detective in the case. But she perseveres and soon finds her own life in danger trying to investigate what really happened in that blind spot. Well, the cop appears to be Grant Mitchell. I'm sorry, Ross Kemp. Uh, there's nothing wrong with him. You can trust him, surely. He's been in the army and everything. Well, Grant Mitchell has been. I don't know about uh, Ross Kemp. But uh, he, he certainly looks determined <laughs> anyway. And he never seems to age either. So we'll go back to start and see what happens. Witness interview conduct. Okay, okay, so it looks like there's definitely a body there. Conducted by Detective Sergeant Anthony Warden. Alright, Hannah, can you take me through what happened? He took a woman into an alleyway and she never came out. I'm sorry, with all those cameras on there, how come how can we have any you know, how can we have have a blind spot there? It's just, if I try to go back, it'll just go back like by 10 seconds. Damn VLC. But yeah, how can there be a blind spot when you've got about 300 bloody cameras there? When she never came out. There's been no report of a missing woman. So she just disappeared into thin air, did she? I kept out of it. Well, it happened in uh, 12 Monkeys. You should too. She went... Ooh, she don't like her. What's the matter with her? I kept out of it. You should too. Ooh. That sounds like a dodgy one if ever I heard one. She went to Matt Tony Warden, the copper. His so-called investigation's been a joke from start to finish. Uh, police, yeah, I could say a lot of things about the police, but uh, maybe that's for another time. They're all in on it! Yeah, a, a typical drama where everyone's a suspect, even the police to investigating the damn thing. Brand new crime drama. So yeah, you go outside, you witness a potential murder. Who did it? Was it the police? Was it the member of the public? If you just stayed inside and watched Channel 5 TV for the evening, you wouldn't have come across any of this and your life wouldn't be in danger. QED. Blind Spot starts Tuesday 4th of July at 9 on Channel 5 and My 5. So there we go. Just very brief so far. Whether we'll get another trailer, I don't know, but it starts on yeah, Tuesday 4th of July, 9 o'clock. Uh, review will be on DVD Fever soon. And um, yeah, looks bizarre. At least let's hope nobody gets stuck in a cave. As was the case with Intruder. God, how long ago was that now? About two years ago, feels like about 20. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the um, the benchmark in uh, the, the bottom of the barrel for murder thrillers. Cause, uh, or sort of any kind of thriller, really, when someone gets uh, stuck in a cave. If you're not seen it, then I won't say too much. But my God, what were they thinking? But it's just, it's just laughable, that one. But that's probably on my five as well. But... <laughs> At your peril, waste four hours watching that. So let's hope this one's better. Anyway, sometimes it can be hit and miss. What was the last one we had? For Her Sins with uh, Rachel Shenton and Joe Joyner. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. That was pretty silly. Uh, and I did a review of that and just pointing out how silly it was. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. In the meantime, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell for all the notifications. Q Genesis.